Oh dear. Swedish type massager. Durable one speed motor provides professional style massaging action that helps loosen minor muscle knots to ease tension areas. I'm just gonna leave that one alone. We're gonna move on. Shake up a martini, pull up a chair, and let's go thrifty. This is Mid-Century Wasting. Hello everyone, here we are again. Welcome to Sundays at Sears. Today we're gonna flip through another 50 pages of the 1968 Sears Christmas Catalog Wish Book. And if you have missed parts one through three, they're up on my channel. So after this, why don't you go check those out? Every Sunday at noon Pacific, I flip through another 50 pages as a premiere, meaning you can join me in the chat along with others cracking up at the great wonderful memories <laughs> that lie inside of this glorious catalog. Now, last week we left off at page 150 or 151, I guess. And we had just started getting into what I consider the glory of this book. Up until this point, it's been primarily fashion. And I mean, don't get me wrong, it's the the hilarity and tragedy have been have been glorious. But for me, home goods, hard goods, home accessories, whatever you want to call them, this is what I am the most excited about. So let's see what's next because obviously this was a real hard place for me to just stop last week. So I'm excited for what's next here. Oh, it's the brass shop. I see that right away. Oh, there's lamps. We're still in the old world collection over here. Oh my. Who doesn't need a little mini cannon for home decor? That's normal. Everyone needs a mini cannon. Is that a little shot glass set? Look at the lamps, ship in a bottle lamps, hourglass lamp. All right, I am not gonna lie to you. I would never lie to you. <laughs> That hourglass lamp is kind of fantastic to me. <laughs> Does it actually work though? How would it even work? It, you wouldn't be able to flip it over. I think it's just pretend. It's not even a functional hourglass. The lamp shades are pretty spectacular. Wait, whoa, wait a second. Number five, wine keg table lamp, satin black finish, wood mount, ceramic keg has working spigot. Oh my god and then look it's got the little shot glasses on the side you would fill your lamp up with booze drinking was so everything back in the 50s and 60s that even the lamp had booze in it this is just every single page i'm just gonna die for the next 50 pages i'm just gonna die every page browse through the brass shop and brass is really coming back people i'd say brass is back big time I don't know if necessarily this brass is back. Although I feel like I've seen those candlesticks like recently. I feel like somebody was selling those on a live sale or something like nearly identical. That umbrella stand is ornate. I don't mind brass. I actually like a lot of brass things. It's just the ornateness of this that turns me off. Just because, you know, I like things a little more sleek. Uh, the eagle's fine. The eagle's cool. I mean, that fits along with like, Everything in 1976 had an eagle on it. So this is a little prior to that fad, but you know, eagles were still cool. Oh my God, the spice racks. Oh, wow. Look at them with the chickens on it. Oh, and there's the notepad cork board combo. Check that out with the little phone. What is that like? A little spot to put the phone down while you write a note down or something. Like, I'm putting you on hold. Hold on a second. Wow. Coffee grinder. Oh, no. Pepper grinder and salt set. That's a salt and pepper. Cute. Lots of chickens. Lots of chicken stuff. Those little letter sorter things. Oh my gosh, look at the iron holder. I don't think I've ever seen an iron holder before. I didn't know that was a thing. Paper towel holders. This is just the, the chicken kitchen collection. Wait, what's it actually called? 
the country courtside shop. God, you just see this stuff everywhere, like in thrift stores and estate sales. I see this kind of stuff all over the place. Look at the bar. How much was the bar? $145. So it's not even that bad when you compare it to prices of some other things in this book. The suit of armor was more than that. That wasn't even a piece of furniture. Oh, look at that hourglass. Oh my God, it's a table? It's an entire table. Whoa. White sand drifts downward for approximately one full hour each time table is turned over. You would turn the whole damn table over. It was literally just one gigantic hourglass. Is it wrong that I desperately want that? <laughs> what a side table. Bookends, weather stations, oh, magazine racks. I swear, I think we had number 12. I think number 12 was in my house growing up. Mm, pretty sure, pretty sure we had that or something extremely similar. All right, what the heck? What have we got here? Oh my goodness. Distinctive statuary, hand finished. Look at the snake, the hooded cobra. Captured the sinuous grace and subtle shadings of the king of the serpents. Burnished gold color finish, 16 inches high. These are just statues you would have in your home. Nothing like buying fine art at Sears. <laughs> There's a little elephant family and some, I don't even know what to say about those. What are they? 11, 12, 13. Troubadour with mandolin, troubadour with harp, troubadour with flute, set of three troubadours. Well, I mean, you gotta get the set of three, right? That's the bargain. You got your religious praying statues. Oh boy. Oh man. I love it. Oh, I love the Starburst clock. My dream someday is to have like a whole wall of vintage Starburst clocks. I really like it when they had the candlestick sconces that went next to it as these whole sets. How much was that back then too? $31.95. Clock requires one D battery. All right, so 1968 clocks had D battery, had battery operated mechanisms. Cause I always kind of wonder Sometimes I see clocks that have battery operated mechanisms, but you know, the older ones had wall plugs. So I'm not really sure when battery operated things like that became common. So at least before 1968. Oh, these kinds of things. What do they call this? Mirror sets? They're just calling them mirror sets, but it's kind of like an entryway. These are just... <sighs> I'm sorry if anyone watching this loves those, but to me, that's really yikesy. Wall accents, treat yourself to the glamorous touch that lasts. I'm sorry, it didn't last. It didn't last to me anyway. Oh, whoa. Um, yes, please. One of each, please. Is there like a mail order um, thing that I can fill out to have them send me one of each of one of these things in here? Now we're talking. It's party time and a well-equipped bar is a must. Oh, yeah, it sure is. <gasps> Look at those. The glasses match the ice buckets. Okay, okay, calm down, Jamie, deep breath. One solid oak shelf looks great with the tankards. Does it come with the tankards? Oh, tankards are number two, got it. Wow, they couldn't even just sell the shelf and the tankards together. $8.99, $5.99. This barrel, oh my goodness, look at that. Two 16 ounce glass decanters. Yep, two glasses, those little low balls. Four shot glasses on the sides there. Brass plated hardware. Can be locked, wow. All right, and then these little mixing sets. One of those would be really cool to find, like new in the box. You know, like somebody got it as a present, stored it away in a closet, never opened it, and you've still got the box and everything. That would be really cool to find something like that. I bet they're out there. I find it just about everything is out there if you look hard enough. These mixing sets are pretty cool. Seven, what is seven? Italian glass martini set. Stirred, not shaken. That's for stirred martinis. Interesting shaped glasses for martinis. I never would have considered those martini glasses. There you go, Italian martini glasses. Oh, look at the barware shelf. Wow, and then there's all the glasses. Timeless, really. Those glasses are, you can buy that same looking shape right now at Crate and Barrel, that's for sure. 10, battery operated mixer pourer. What? You put your stuff in there and there's like a little mixer in there and then you pump it out? What? 
how come these things aren't commonplace? <laughs> 11, what's 11? Frostomatic glass chiller. The professional touch, press inverted glass on top. In seconds, it's ice coated. What? Oh my God. What kind of witchery is that? 12, whiskey well. Top removes to store a fifth of your favorite beverage. <laughs> okay, store your fifth. What's this one? 13, it looks like a little golf. Yep, the golf buddy made of sturdy vinyl. Top them zip so you can store a fifth or quarter of your favorite beverage and take it to the golf course so you're completely sloshed by the seventh tee. What a day. Pirate's chest decanter set, old world map decanter set. That's what those are. I can't say I've seen those like all together anymore very often. Then over here, the glorious number 10 ice bucket and highball set. Vinyl bucket is fiberglass <laughs> with a registered trademark symbol. Insulated and holds three quarts, six tumblers. Wow. Mod style ice bucket. Shiny black vinyl with extra heavy insulation. Look at those. That was 12. Mod style ice bucket and highball set. Top hat ice bucket. The swinger ice bucket. I don't think they mean swinger like swingers swinger. I think they mean like golf pewter finished ice bucket. That looks like a stein. Oh, look at these. They say imported from Japan on these ones. Four matching 14 piece beverage set. Cranberry color vinyl bucket is fully insulated and dishwasher safe. Oh, we're trying to get into dishwasher safe stuff. Four glasses, brass tongs, eight coasters. Oh, okay. It came with coasters. Wow. Number five, mug tree. Gotta love a good mug tree. Six, eight tavern sign coasters. Oh, okay, more coasters. Huh. And they would all hang together. That's kind of cool. Eight glassware and coaster set. Where's that over down here? Oh yeah, and the little caddy. Okay, so coasters would go on the side on that caddy. I don't know that I've seen one like that before. That's something to keep an eye out on. Ooh, seven, did I skip seven? Where's seven? Seven. Ice server and glassware set. Definitely has that Dorothy Thorpe look to it, but Dorothy Thorpe was not mentioned and I do not believe was sold at Sears. I think she was a little, little pricey for Sears. The mug rack. You can only find about 20 of those at every thrift store in America. And I probably own about seven of them, but there it was originally $5.79 for the accordion mug rack. Wood rack looks like an old fashioned hat rack but holds mugs instead. Huh, okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, our page is a little crinkled here. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, okay. You can only ask for it to last so long with no wrinkles or creases. Well, more partying, more drinking. It's party time. Here's more of those barrels minus lamp, but that is the same barrel with the shot glasses on the sides. Just no lamp. There's a double barrel, single barrel. How much were those? Two keg set, $5.99 and $3.99. Those were cheap. That's really funny. And then you've got more gift sets, gift sets of mixing sets. I feel like this is the kind of thing that people would have like in their desk drawer at work back in this era. <laughs> like maybe when drinking on the job starts getting a little bit frowned upon, people would just sort of stash them away in these little travel boxes instead. How much were these things? $14.99, $15.99, $19.99, $18.99. dollars they are kind of pricey, but you know, probably just gift sets. Now, oh. <laughs> look at that turkey decanter. Turkey decanter imported from Italy is genuine leather over glass. Oh wow, I bet those got broken a lot. I bet the glass inside broke a lot on these things. I've never seen one of those in person. I wonder if, I wonder the scarcity of those. <laughs> Seven and eight are musical. You can tell by the music notes around them. Extinguisher, golf bag, curved hip flasks, because you just can't leave home without it. And now here's some candles and Christmassy decor. Handcrafted candle collection, richly sculpted and colored, designed to recall an age of ornate splendor and elegance. Those are ornate, all right. They didn't lie. The Christmas shop, cathedral candlesticks, table tree, formal centerpiece, 
three candle centerpiece, apple compote. 11? That's an apple compote? Okay. Apple ring. Why? Because it's got those fake little plastic apples on it. Got it. Poinsettia centerpiece. This is all plastic stuff. Plastic, plastic, plastic. More horribly tacky plastic. Wonderful splendor. Love it. Oh my gosh. The hits just keep on coming. Carving sets. There's just so much entertaining happening back then. I mean, who needs this? This is like what you see at a buffet or something now, serving hundreds of people. I don't think this is like commonplace to have something like this in your home anymore. But there's just a lot of entertaining happening. Oh gosh, we had those. We had those. So you would put the paper plates in there. Yep, set of 12 reed plate holders. Simply line them with colorful paper plates and save a lot of dishwashing time. Four each, orange, green, yellow, made in Hong Kong. And then there they are with some nice plastic, plastic wear. I love the color. You know I love that color. It's got the little circle spot to put your mug. It's got picnic written all over it. Potato bakers, what? Made of aluminum for even heat distribution. Pop them into the rattan holders for neat and tidy serving. Gosh, that's just a lot of, a lot of gadgets. 10 steak platters, plastic with aluminum trays. All right, 11 skillet servers. Ooh, nice bowls. Kala wood salad set, made in Japan. That's nice. 15 fruit bowl, made of molded composition. Composition what? Just composition. I mean, it's made of a composition with satin walnut finish and delicate ivory color highlights. Party time. There's your run of the mill punch bowl that you see at every thrift store and they just cannot get rid of them. Unsellable, if you ask me. No one does this anymore. Just People just don't entertain like this anymore, especially like a punch bowl kind of party. Spike the punch bowl, you know, all of that kind of stuff. Like you, it's just, I don't know. It's a bygone era. I'll just put it that way. I sure like this stuff though. That coffee set's pretty fantastic. 13, 10 piece coffee set, elegantly designed coffee pot, holds five cups. Oh, it's pineapple or avocado, two different colors. 14, soup set. Oh, okay, yeah, that's soup terrine. Like it. Trivets, set of three trivet plaques, so handy for hot casseroles or vegetable dishes. Can also be hung on the wall to add a cheery note. <laughs> How much were those? $1.99, $2 for a set of three. It's nice to see that you can see which ones went together. Like if you have one of those, you can see there was two other matching ones. Two condiment server, salt shaker and pepper mill set, bamboo stuff, snack trays. I have some triangular, more mid-century modern shaped ones of those that are just like that, just a different shape. Nine, those are pretty fantastic. Seven piece stacking snack set. Oh yeah, yes please, seven piece? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got it, the lid, they're counting as a piece. Got it. 10, musical coffee pot. Pot plays the coffee song when lifted. Holds six cups, what? I don't understand that really. I don't know how it did that. And then here's some more stuff down here. Love it. Oh, it's time for the fondue. You knew it had to be in there. There it is. I was wondering when the Fondue stuff was really super popular. And it looks like uh, 1968, there's there enough popularity for one, two, three, four, four or five different pots. And oh my gosh, there's all this down here too. Look at all that. I really like that one with the fondue sticks that would like point out of the little holder down there. That's pretty cool. And there's some plates, fondue plates. I've got some orange ones that look just like that. Oh, there's the hibachis. The hibachi smorgasbord. Smorgasbord is a Swedish thing. Hibachi is not a Swedish thing. They're combining all sorts of cultures here. I don't know, where did hibachi come from? Nothing like cooking your food on some sterno. Ugh. Chafing dish, 11. Oh, these are chafing dishes, okay. Slightly different than fondue. 14, chafing dish. I mean, essentially, same thing as a fondue. It's just, it's just larger, I think. That's a nice set. 11 piece completer set in patterns one through three. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, you can pick the pattern. Got it. Nordica, Romance, or Caliph. Interesting. 
stoneware, freezer to oven stoneware. All right, so you could you could make your little, I don't know, crocks of chili, freeze them, and then put them all in the oven when your guests are about to come over. And in the meantime, serve them some cheese and crackers on one of those fabulous cheese and cracker boards that I love oh so much. TV trays. We had something very similar to this one growing up when I was young. Actually, it was probably closer to number eight there. I'm not sure. It's just bringing back haunting memories of the early 80s. We got some black and white pages here. That's interesting. I think that's the first black and white page. So I wonder why. Is this like less interesting, cheaper stuff or something? I mean, well, we got our silver plate. Wait, what? A silver plated phone cover fits standard size phone would you would like bling out like chrome out your rotary phone <laughs> i've never seen anything like that before huh interesting oh look at the cigarette holder huh there you go 15 sugar scuttle and scoop but they've got cigarettes in it hmm interesting take a little time to relax it's the hospitality season pitcher and glassware heavy glass with Cherished grape and leaf design in fashionable avocado. See, that was an avocado, but you don't know it because of the pictures in black and white. And there's some silver rimmed glasses. 24 piece barware set, 10.98. Wow. Dishwasher safe, band on rim never tarnishes. Well, that we know is bull, you know what? Plenty of those have tarnish on it. See it all the time. So those are ashtrays, one and two. See, one was the contemporary style. Two was early American style. Basically the same, just one has knobby turned wood all over it. And the other one has like a little metal sleek thing. Smoker magazine racks. So I want to know what color number three is because it was like the ceramic ashtray at the top and then the probably brass, yeah, brass plated steel bottom there. An all different variety of styles. Wow. Oh, and there you go. There's an eagle on it. You know, put a bird on it from Portlandia. If anybody knows that sketch, this was the original put a bird on it. And it was the American bald eagle went on everything, especially by the bicentennial. So that we're eight years shy of the bicentennial at this book, but there was still plenty of early American stuff with the eagle on it back then, I can tell. Oh, there's those collapsible folding trays again for more serving needs. Accent tables. Stacking, again, for more parties. You just unfold your serving tray, unstack your stacking tables. Everybody's got a coaster for their cocktail. Crocs are in the oven straight from the freezer. God, life was just grand. Oh my Jesus. Lava lamps in 1968. I can't believe it. And here's, we've got some poker tables. Wow, 50 bucks, 40 bucks. What is that? Six. Las Vegas style combination game table. Wheel, 200 chips, five dice, six plas plastic horses, 24 checkers, one board, special roulette playing da 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 la la la. It was like your all in one Vegas style at home gambling set. Folding chairs. Oh, have, have I been skipping any of these? I don't think I've seen any since until now. You got gypped, dad. You didn't get any black cards. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> there goes that hand. Poker tables. Oh, I see. Tea set. Tea table by day. Poker table by night. I see what we're doing here. The ladies had a, a nice respectable table to have their, their tea. And then the men flip it over for man time. I love how everyone like played cards back then though. That is something that I would love to live in a time where everyone played cards. Your neighbors would come over, you play bridge and canasta and whatever else, poker. Hostess tray sets, more portable, collapsible, fold away serving items for when people are over. All right, more manware, a little mini bar that disguises itself as a row of books. How classy. A uh, hourglass and a little office putter into an ashtray? Okay. A seven. What is that? Seven. Combination radio and desk organizer. Solid state eight transistor radio with Schaefer ballpoint pen. Fancy. Four, five, and six are letter openers, I'm assuming. Yep. Eight. Lamp with desk organizer. Eleven. High intensity lamp. These colors. It's just oh so cool. 
What is this? Coats of arms. Choice of 359 names. Wow. So you'd have all these coat of arms, fake coat of arms. <laughs> oh, wow. The barware and everything. Interesting. Huh. And I guess it, it looks like the pattern is actually different for each name. University of Michigan. Wow. Okay. So let's see some of these names. Let's see. Let's just scroll down this way. I bet, uh, well, I already see that my maiden name is not on there. I can see if your name was on here. Let's see. Just taking like the top 359 most common names. Uh, nope, married name isn't on here either. I do not have a common name apparently. Mm. Was your name on here? There's the last little few rows. I doubt it. If you're watching, I doubt your name was on here. <laughs> Unless your last name is something super common like Johnson <laughs> or Smith. You know Smith is gonna be on there, yep. Smith's on there. Yeah. Otherwise, it's probably not on there. 359 names to choose from out of all the dang names in the world. <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh, more fondue. My, 1968 must have been right there in the height of the fondue era. The Chef's Bazaar, entertaining ideas with old world flavor. Trust Sears to bring you the actual cookware flavored by continental and oriental cooks. Oh, that, we don't say that anymore. Here it is in time for the holiday entertaining and for gifts to compliment your friend's good taste. Oh boy. It was just all about schmoozing your friends back then, wasn't it? Just kind of keeping up with the Joneses. Oh, is this Pyrex? Is this like the cheap bakeware Pyrex? Sears equivalent of Pyrex right there. Cause it doesn't say Pyrex, just says glass ovenware. Oh, France. Okay, it's the France version of the clear Pyrex. Oh man, more little like hibachi deals, more chafing dishes. That fondue is awesome. Look at that one with the red dots on the side. Check out those fondue stick holders too. Those are fancy. Yeah, I like that one too. There's a cookbook. Who wants to have a fondue party when COVID is over? I do. <laughs> Sounds like great fun. Okay, more chef's bazaar stuff. Practical accents for the kitchen and coffee table. What is this? Wood hue provincial canisters from Sears. Oh, they're canisters. Oh, we've got a canister set. Oh, see, look, there's a diagram of how it works. Ooh, do not like that. The coffee mug rack is kind of awesome though. It looks like you're supposed to stick your head in there. Here's more canisters. That one's not bad too. That one's kind of funky and cool. I don't hate it. Oh, those ones are nice. I have a thing for canisters, if you didn't already know that. Canister sets are always really fun to find, especially if they're in good shape. They're usually vintage canisters are pretty good sellers depending on the color and the material and the condition, obviously. But if you can find a good one in a cool color, canister sets are, are good sellers, at least for me. Nutcrackers, that's a fancy nutcracker. 14, rocket nutcracker. Just pull the lever down, it cracks the shell, leaving nut meats intact. Cool. <laughs> 15 large nut bowl nutcracker six picks inside yeah i see that oh look there's a colorful accordion rack 17 expanding rack stout wood with 10 pegs for mugs kitchen tools pots pans hats mittens at the front door oh my lord how versatile more spice racks oh there's some nice little butter melting deals there nice 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 more chef's bazaar how bizarre, how bizarre. Electric pastry pizza warmer. Hey, that's fancy schmancy. I like that one. Tap water filter. What? They had those back then? Sparkling water flows mountain spring fresh, odorless from your faucet. Wow, I didn't know they had anything like that back then. Interesting. Madly Mod Perk. Psychedelically patterned porcelain enamel on an extra heavy gauge steel that distributes and retains heat evenly. Wow groovy oh hey is this the it slices it dices chopomatic deal 
I think it sure is. Vegematic, vegematic, that's what it is. As seen on TV, julians or shoestrings, dices, slices, even delicate pre-scored tomatoes. Slices whole foods thick or thin for salads, french fries, mushrooms, garnishes, ideal for onions, radishes, boiled eggs too. White plastic with stainless steel blades. There it is. It slices, it dices. The vegematic. What's here? Electric knives with cords. Sears Best cordless electric knife with recharger storage case, $18.99. That wasn't cheap. Are we getting out of kitchenware now? Our gallery of hand-woven sewing baskets. Oh, how sweet. Just like Granny had. Oh, look, they've even got the kittens in the picture. My goodness. How cliche, Sears. <laughs> a kitten in a sewing basket. Oh, what is this page? Is this more sewing stuff? Wow, a whole page of sewing stuff. With power to spare electric scissors. It cuts so smoothly you won't feel a trace of vibration. Well, what if you want a trace of vibration? What is this? Hammer and stitcher, okay. Hi, I've never sewn anything in my life. I have no idea what I'm looking at. What is that? Oh, a knitting. Is that a knitting machine? Oh my Lord, it is. Fun fact, when I was a child, my mom had a knit hat business, ski hat business. And she had a more modern version of one of those types of knitting machines back in the 80s and 90s. She also made really cool Christmas stockings, scissors, sewing buckets. So when you see one of those, it's not an ice bucket, it's a sewing bucket. Magnetic vibrator, electric scissors, holiday cover-ups, nice for entertaining or as hostess gifts. Hmm, okay. Sewing box. Heated footstools, what? I didn't know there was such a thing. Keep those cold feet snugly warm. Shoe totes, what? Leather look vinyl sheds rain to protect shoes. Okay, lampshade doll holds pajamas or small treasures. Soft rayon plush, cotton backed, huh, okay. Washable lint remover. We're in some random stuff here. Koo key, koo, koo, I can't say this. Koo keychain. oh my God. Back scratcher, oh my gosh. Padded hangers, what are these things? Clawed pets, comb them, shape them, style them. The clods are the latest rage in doodling. Fluffy acrylic pile in neon colors. Man, I can't talk right now. Cordless vacuum brush, angel kit. Make it yourself of jute burlap tote bag kit. Oh, you would make your own tote bags, that's cool. Oh, wow. Old Spice. I didn't know they sold Old Spice at Sears. And English Leather, Jade East, and Brute. I've never heard of Jade East before. Distinctive Scents. Choose from these five distinctive scents to capture the mood of the man you have in mind. Was he an Old Spice man? A Lime English Leather man? Oh wait, Lime English Leather or Regular English Leather. Is that what I'm saying here? I think so. Jade East and Brute. Brush set and caddy. Electric hairbrush for a man. Oh dear. Swedish type massager. Durable one speed motor provides professional style massaging action that helps loosen minor muscle knots to ease tension areas. I'm just gonna leave that one alone. We're gonna move on. Travel kit. 17 brush and mirror set. Cordless rechargeable power toothbrush. See, I didn't know they had electric toothbrushes back then either. I had no idea. Now I know. All in one manicure knife. There's a manicure knife. Cause you can't call it a nail file for a dude. It's gotta be a manicure knife. Electric shoe polisher kits. Definitely something I don't think it's common for people to have in their homes anymore. I feel like I've seen those before places. I mean, maybe people still polish their shoes by hand, like before a wedding or something, but you definitely didn't, ah, I don't know. I just don't, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I just don't know about like really businessy business people, but I feel like people don't polish their shoes the way they used to. I mean, to the point where you have like a compact travel version of it, maybe shoes just aren't nice enough anymore to polish them. Or maybe I'm just completely wrong. Hey, these, I've seen these before. These like rack, tie rack deals. Like where it kind of like folds out. I've seen that before. And then those ones. Mmm, valets. Lots of gadgets here. Tie, rotating tie rack gadgets. Man desk gadgets. Oh, more eagles. Tie racks. Man brushes. Manly 
desk office gifts. Clothing brushes, lint removers, hangers, valet sets. There's a valet right there. There's another one. I don't know, I guess if you still, if you have the type of job where you have to wear a suit and tie every day, maybe people will still want a valet. This is the way I'll look when I grow up, Joey. Oh, look, he's in the valet inside his daddy's suit. See, Dennis the Menace is not without sweet moments. That's cute. He wasn't all bad. Is that Dennis? Ah, we got some smoker accessories. Pipes, lighters of all different kinds of fun shapes and sizes. There's the Cadillac 1913, Chevrolet 1913. There's a gun and a clock, cigarette case, rechargeable electric lighter, windproof, wow, fancy. Zippos, classic, timeless, bunch of different kinds of ashtrays. Oh, there's one of those, what do they call these? Just 12. Cigarette box and lighter set, pipes. Oh wow, look at that armrest one. Drapes over the armrest. Is that a hookah? The heck? Mastercraft Turkish water pipe. My God, it's a hookah. How funny. Butane lighters. I guess these are not technically Zippos. No, Ronson. Ronson butane wind light. So they have a lot more of these Ronson lighters than the Zippo lighters. Very cool. I like the ones with the starbursts on it. I mean, I don't really have use for anything like that since I'm not a smoker, but they're neat looking. Supermatic, what is that? Supermatic cigarette machine. Sprinkle tobacco into vent, place cigarette tube in holder, turn lever, packs regular size straights or king size filters. All right, make your own cigarettes. Good God, people. Oh man, how many pages of smoking are we gonna have? There's your pipes and your tobacco holder rack deals. I recently saw somebody put test tubes in one of these and a vase right here because there wasn't any kind of jar or anything. And they put plants in it, like a little propagator, propagator thing, put it in a window, it was really cute. I think I saw that on The Recycled Life, actually. I just saw that recently. There are th other things you can use these for, is basically what I'm saying. All these like snuff bags. <laughs> pipes and pipes and more pipes. And I have heard from people recently that pipes are kind of like coming back with the hipster crowd. People are wanting to smoke pipes again. So I don't know about that. I don't know how I would feel about selling pipes. It doesn't, doesn't interest me much. What are these gadgets? Sears scope light. A Sears exclusive. And what a handy item it is. Read street signs and house numbers up to 450 feet away. Using six power telescope during daylight, telescope and spotlight at night. It's a telescope slash light. To why? Why do you, why do you need to read house numbers from 450 feet away? You're spying on your neighbors? For when you're calling the cops on your neighbors, you can get out your spy light slash telescope and see the house number from across the street. All right. Oh, who doesn't need a fire extinguisher for Christmas? Nice gift you can buy at Sears. Start out warm on frigid winter mornings with Sears car preheater. Oh, I'm sure that didn't start any car fires. Plug it in, stick that in your car. Yeah. How many cars caught on fire with those? I would like the statistics on that. Tachometer. <laughs> We're getting into the Searsy, Searsy side of Sears here. What? I don't even know what this is. Get top engine performance with Sears tune-up instruments. This is definitely like the man section. Oh, I say that and then here's a adorable lighted mirror for the woman to apply her lipstick in the passenger seat of the car with no seat belts on in a convertible. You can fly out when there's an accident. Eight track. Automatic four and eight track stereo tape player for car, truck, boat. $80 cash, $8 monthly. There you go, Sears portable eight track. Wow. Oh no, maybe it's not portable. Maybe this was actually to get installed in your car, truck, or boat. Cause there's speakers too. Wow. Defroster gun, plugs into cigarette lighter and blows hot air across windows. Jeez, I feel like these are all like death trap things. Car gifts for your friends or for yourself if you need an excuse, <laughs> okay? Your favorite music instantly, continuously, anywhere. Portable eight track, there's the portable one. There's the portable eight track player. Weighs less than five pounds, oh my God. Yeah, 
go skiing with a five pound eight track player. That makes a lot of sense. We're gonna carry around a five pound eight track player and hit the slopes. There's 1968 in a nutshell for you people. There's a lip safety mirror, flips, defrosts, defogs, warns, front, war warns, defogs, warns, front and rear, warns, built-in four-way protection. Okay, what is this? Dirt doesn't stand a chance against a combination like this. Built-in light to help you find the dirt, extra wide nozzle and re removable upholstery brush to cover large areas crevice tool. So it's basically just your run-of-the-mill little hand vac for cleaning out your car, I guess. Car vacuum with removable nozzle brush. That's a cool color. I like that one. Oh, look at this. Is this a charm bracelet? Sure is. Sterling silver bracelets and charms. How much were the bracelets? $2.99, $4.99, $5.78. Heaviest weight intricate link. $11.99. And here's a little charms. Merry Christmas. Oh, look at that. December 1968. Cheerleader, horse, Christmas charms, a whistle, Susan and Frank. <laughs> I guess that's if you had kids. They would be your kids' names and birthdays. Happy birthday, shamrock. ID bracelets. Yep. Those were popular. Ooh, watches. Cool. I wish they were in color. Wow, a Mickey Mouse watch. Look at that. 1968 Mickey Mouse watch. I wish these were in color. They would give you a little more if they were in color. I guess they had to they had to pick and choose. Mickey Mouse watch was $12.95. Mod in the round. Bright orange patent vinyl strap. See number two. That one was bright orange. And you would never know it. It looks kind of boring and plain, but if if this was a bright orange strap, you would really get the full effect. Hmm. Oh well. Not selling me a watch, Sears. Timex. Is that the one that took a licking and kept on ticking? Was that the Timex brand? An outstanding group of nationally famous watches recognized for good quality and smart contemporary designs at popular prices. Unbreakable mainspring. Electric watches have no mainspring. Nice little footnote there. Shock resistant movement, stainless steel case back, shipped, post paid, and gift boxed. Nice Timex watches. Again, not quite as interesting being in black and white. What were some of these? $45, $65. Those were the electric watches. Okay. The electric ones must have been newer technology of the time, possibly. Lady Styles, 10, 15. And these ones were Swiss watches. Ladies waterproof, fashion bracelet, dress watch, ID bracelet watch for men and ladies. Sportsman Waterproof Calendar 22. What was that? That one? Oh, yeah. All right. Last page, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, good. Some color watches. Now we can get the full effect here. Orvin watches. I wonder if these were more expensive. And that's why they decided to put these ones in color. $17.99 to $24.99. Or if they just had some sort of deal with them where they featured these ones in color for some reason. Tradition watches. Our finest quality 17 jewel Swiss movement watches. There's a little watch on a necklace. Not to blow past this page, but here's the Belova watches. They're just not as good looking when they're not in color. I don't know. The color pages just really make a difference. Maybe I am uh, just a sucker for, <laughs> for color ads or something. But um, there we go. There you have it. We're on page 201, folks. That's all she wrote for today. This was a little bit of a longer one, definitely, because there's just so many little things on every page. So thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with me in the chat. If you were in there, if not, thanks for watching the, the replay and stay tuned for next week when we flip through another 50 pages. I hope you enjoyed everyone. See you next time. Bye-bye.